This is Dolany TV, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, and good evening, good morning. I made a big stink about that in my last video. Uh, welcome back to today's Oilers news and notes here on the channel today. And my friends, goodness sakes, lots of news moving around. I don't know, I, it is a buffet of what I could mention, and I will probably break it all down into two videos quite honestly just simply because then we can actually have time to properly talk about everything without losing track of where we need to be at the end of the video so my friends obviously yesterday a little divergent path away from uh, the regular straight Oilers news we've been talking the past two weeks to have a fun little discussion on Nail Yakupov because I really liked that that was entertained by Twitter yesterday however friends today right the Oilers getting back to business they are in Penticton are the young stars Ready for, of course, the Young Stars Tournament to kick off tomorrow night at 5 p.m. our time here in Alberta. So, first off, we've got this bit of news, and we'll get to this one right here. I'm, I'm not going to bother clipping stuff. i got a lot of stuff to do tonight, and if I get to video number two, good job. But right now, we're just going to get through this one. Guys, if you're new to the channel right now, take the next 5-10 minutes, whatever it takes me to get through all this. Consider hitting the subscribe button, and let's get down to business here. So, it appears... Today, right, last night, Mark Spector tweeted out that it appeared the Oilers were out on Jake Vertanen. And now, this morning, about five hours ago, so literally noon, I guess you could say, uh, Daniel Newman, Jim Bowman appeared to also on Twitter confirm that the Oilers are out on Jake Vertanen at current. Of course, not for certain, he mentioned, so subject to change TBD. The thing is, though, Jason Demers a former Arizona Coyotes defenseman, will be coming to camp. I believe he was with Arizona and San Jose, if that sounds correct. We'll get full details on him when they actually announce the PTO and if we can actually discuss him a little bit further. However, he'll be coming to camp on a PTO. He was in the KHL for five games last year, so don't you worry. We got our KHL player on a PTO. He's 34, by the way, if I haven't mentioned that. And he played with Canada's Olympic team last season. And... Uh, Further to the PTO discussion, Edmonton is also discussing the idea of extending a PTO to former Flames right winger Brett Ritchie. So, I mean, the Flames have handed down several PTOs over the past 24, 48 hours themselves, according to the Fan 960 from what I heard. But again, now the Oilers interested in adding. Yes, you're going to be happy to hear this, some of you in the comments section. That sandpaper and grit that so many people are saying the Oilers need to win a cup. Well, right there, that's a, what a Brett Ritchie is. I don't know what else to tell you. That's Brett Ritchie in a nutshell. So hopefully that appeases some of that crowd as well. And we're good to go there. So that's Daniel Nugent Bowman's updates on the PTOs. Ode on Vertanen. Jason Demers incoming 34 and I have to say this might be a discussion somewhere else here on YouTube later today. You might see how we've started setting things up on certain videos here between me and that other fellow that does such a good job doing Oilers videos. You'll see at the end. I'm not going to spoil the surprise. You'll see if it uh, indeed is there at the end for you. But um, I believe it'll be his discussion over on the Oilers Fanatic to discuss potentially what things look like should Jason Demers be part of the Edmonton Oilers actual squad this season, not just a camp invite to create, uh, what would you say, create competition at camp. If he sticks around, there's some possibilities you can start playing around with, but I'll leave that to Patrick and what he potentially has cooking up for you this evening or has already cooked up depending on when this video gets uploaded quite honestly so there you go, that's Jason Demers covered off and then Brett Ritchie, right? Uh, obviously you need to have a Carter Bird guy to play against. Brett Ritchie is that guy. And if he can make it painful for you, 9 minutes to 12 minutes a night, that's probably a good get. And of course, just to create a little bit more of that forward competition, there is that forward you heard about at camp, right? The Oilers now flushed out are interested in bringing in Brett Ritchie. So there's your forward group, your defense group, and Jake for 10 and news for the day. However, this is the bigger news of the day of the Oilers being in Penticton. They had their practice there today and things were getting ready for the Oilers to play rookie games tomorrow night at 5 p.m. They are practicing in Penticton today, right? That was according to Daniel Nugent Bowman. 
ahead of their first tournament game tomorrow. This is all just a quote tweet from him. Players and team staff have been invited to dinner at Duncan Keith's house. There you go. Mr. Duncan Keith, who will appear to take a special uh, player development role with the Edmonton Oilers this season, has decided to make sure his teammates, his team co-workers, feel like they can come to him along the player development path. And that is, of course, Daniel Nugent Bowman says, a thoughtful gesture by someone who valued his last season in the NHL in Edmonton. However, let me tell you, this is only the beginning of Duncan Keith opening the door for the Oilers youngsters over the next several years. That's according to something else I read. Where did I read that? Hold on, let me get that Bakersfield Condors situation uh, figured out. So if I can figure it out here, Instagram, and go here, and go here, and go here. Um, uh, where was it? It was on OilersNation.com. There you go. So Oilers Nation had that one for you. It will be a player development role for Mr. Duncan Keith. Folks, that is about as much time as I have for you right now. I hope you had this much time for me. Uh, obviously, tomorrow, here's some details, and I guess this is what you need to know. I already had this question come in, so I'll clarify this for the last little bit of the video. Tomorrow, the game is live streamed on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter probably, and who knows if they're going to mess around and maybe even put it up on Instagram or the Oilers. Um, I think the roster includes Gene Principe, probably Tony Brower will be in there as well, covering the Oilers on the mics tomorrow night, if it's anything like years past. So that's kind of what you'll be looking at. There will be feature interviews between periods. They'll probably have Ken Holland on at some point this weekend. They'll probably have a feature on Jay Woodcroft at some point this weekend. And of course, probably talk about uh, Mr. Chalk down in Bakersfield, who I imagine is running the bench for the Edmonton Oilers Young Stars. I haven't seen confirmation on that. Honestly, don't even think I've heard anything about the coaching staff for this tournament, despite uh, hearing all about uh, the Flames and their head coach of the Calgary Wranglers going to be in town in Penticton right now for their Flames rookies. So, man, sucks. Having Flames talk at 5 p.m. and 6.30, Ched sounds like I'm in a spaceship not in the actual compartment, but just in the rocket chamber when I'm trying to listen to it driving in the backwoods of Calgary. So what do you do? Well, folks, that's kind of what you need to know, right? So YouTube, EdmontonOilers.com, I'd take YouTube, will be your home for the Oilers games this weekend. So keep it locked there. I'll be out and about Saturday night enjoying pizza, wings, and whatever else we can get up to for a sober guy two years on now partying on a Saturday night watching the Oilers for the first Saturday of the new hockey season. Guys, I'm Tyson. This is Stall TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will catch you in the next one. See you tomorrow.